Hello students. As promised, I wanted to make a video showing you how to deal with simultaneous equilibria. In this case, when we're using Ksp and Kf. So a uh, solubility product constant for a relatively insoluble salt, and then a formation constant for a complex ion. So in this example, I'm going to use silver chloride. So we can write the uh, equation for the Ksp. And the value is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10th. So silver chloride just by itself is pretty darn insoluble. Only a very tiny bit will dissolve in water. Um, this is inconvenient, of course, if you're trying to get the silver uh, out of ore. And so one commonly used uh, solution, at least historically, was cyanide. Of course, cyanide is also poisonous, so we'll come back to that later. But um, it makes a very strong complex with silver ions when you have two uh, cyanide ions there, you can make this complex ion AgCN2 minus. So this one is a complex ion and this is the K of formation for that reaction. And it has a huge K, one times 10 to the 21. In other words, this is very strongly favored and the formation of the complex uh, happens pretty completely when you put cyanide into the solution. Okay, so now let's say we want to get our overall K. We can go ahead and add these reactions together. We get our silver chloride plus cyanide, and we're going to make our complex ion and also have some chloride ions as well. And our new K is just gonna be Ksp times Kf because we added those reactions together, we multiply the Ks. And so our K is 1.8 times 10 to the 11th, so very large. So again, Looking at how soluble silver chloride is just on its own, not very soluble, 10 to the minus 10th for the K. But if we add some cyanide here, we change that around and make it very soluble, 10 to the 11th is our new K. And we can write our expression for this. We have our complex ion, the chloride ion, and then cyanide ion squared on the bottom. Um, so now that we know this is our new K, we can see that it's dramatically more soluble in a solution of cyanide than it is in plain water. This is the question, what excess amount of cyanide is needed to dissolve 0.1 moles of AgCl in one liter of solution. So I wanna just point out this word excess. Obviously, if you were making this complex ion, uh, you need to have some cyanide there and it would happen stoichiometrically for each silver ion you would need two cyanide ions, right? Um, but we want to know what's the excess amount. So in other words, we want to solve for this cyanide concentration right here. How much extra do we need to add? The reason this matters is because, uh, of course, again, cyanide is poisonous, so we want to use the smallest amount possible. So in this case, we would have for our silver silver ions, it would be 0.1. That would be our concentration. And for our chloride ions, it would be 0.1. And then we would have our concentration of cyanide squared, and this equals 1.8 times 10 to the 11th. So when I solve for x, 
I get 2.4 times 10 to the minus 7th molar cyanide. And so this is our excess cyanide that's needed to keep our 0.1 moles of AgCl dissolved in solution. As you can see, it's a very small amount of excess cyanide, and that is good because we don't want to have to use any more than is absolutely necessary. So this is an example again of a simultaneous equilibrium. Essentially the same rules apply that we have been using whenever we combine reactions. If we are adding them together, we're going to multiply the Ks. So that's how we got our new K value here. Uh, and then we can start to think about uh, what this equilibrium means. One thing that we might notice is that our silver chloride is dramatically more soluble in cyanide than it is in plain water because we have this 10 to the 11th instead of 10 to the minus 10th for our K. And uh, another thing we might think about is, you know, how much cyanide do we have to add here in order to make this dissolve? Obviously the amount to make the AgCN to minus ion, but in terms of excess, it's only a very small amount of excess that's needed to keep this dissolved in solution and maintain that equilibrium. So I hope this is helpful and that you have a good day.